clinical trials are a fundamental part of clinical research. They genuinely are experiments. You think you know the answer, um, but very often you don't. A clinical trial is aimed at comparing a new treatment against the best available current standard treatment. What we're trying to do is to see whether the new treatment is safe and effective. Clinical trials can be done in a variety of settings, in hospitals, in communities, in doctor's surgeries, and are essential before we judge whether a new treatment is worth introducing for routine clinical practice. A randomised control trial is a specific type of clinical trial and the aim of the randomised trial is to reliably say whether the new treatment is better than the old or the standard treatment. A group of individuals are randomly allocated to either the new treatment or the best current standard to compare those two groups of individuals to see which treatment is best. A randomised control trial uh, involves first and foremost the process of randomisation, which is when you use chance to determine which group people are allocated. Now nowadays chance is really done by the generation of computer uh, lists and the controlled part of the randomised control trial uh, refers to your comparison, your standard group. In some cases if you're talking about the development of a new treatment or a new area for treatment, that standard could be no treatment at all or something we call a placebo, a dummy uh, treatment, which would be to mirror the, the treatment that you are interested in. So if treatments are assigned at random, we will make sure that the mix of patients which are assigned to one treatment is very similar to the mix of patients which is assigned to another treatment. So they will be similar in their ages, in the sex distribution, um, in the stage of the disease they're in, and so that we'll be making a fair comparison between, between the two treatments in this way. Of all the ways that we can think of, of comparing a new versus a standard, randomization is the best way we can make that comparison. And in fact, it's the only reliable way in which we can make that comparison. If you did not have the ability to randomise and doctors were allowed to choose who they gave the treatment to, the new exciting treatment, which could well be better, they might choose to give it to all the older people who are heavy smokers. And then all the young people who are non-smokers get the standard treatment. And I think then we'd probably get the wrong message from that trial, because we might think the new treatment wasn't very good, but really it's the older age and the smoking that um, that has, has made the difference. Now, age and smoking, of course, you can measure, but the trouble is there are many things in life that you can't measure that might have an impact on the disease, and that's why we rely on randomization to make sure those other things are evenly distributed between the groups. I'm a passionate believer in clinical trials. Um, I believe that it's the best way of testing a new treatment idea. It is the gold standard. It also means that patients in a clinical trial will at an absolute minimum receive the best possible standard treatment. As a clinician I think it's really important to be involved in clinical trials because it's opportunities for your patients to be at the forefront or have access to new medicines that are at the forefront of discovery. We all hope when we have a new treatment that the new treatment is going to be better. It's clinical trials and the randomised controlled trial in particular which has allowed us to do that.